We're a company that's been around for 14 years and we specialize in industrial and commercial concrete flooring. With that, we do anything that is required in those markets. So we do from earthworks right up to completed flooring. We could actually then design the floor, place concrete floors with laser screed machines. We grind floors and polish floors. We do epoxy and polyurethane coatings. And then we would even maintain it. Really, the overriding philosophy of our company is to offer better solutions for better floors. So we are multidisciplinary and we offer any service that's associated to industrial and commercial flooring. And we're a company of firsts, so we were the first company to introduce uh, laser screed technology into the Southern African market, the first to introduce steel fibre technology and jointless flooring, and the first company to do uh, polishing of concrete floors, and we continue to do that. So constant striving for new technology and new services and new systems, and we back that up with a very experienced workforce uh, that gives the customer a, a lot of uh, comfort in, uh, in using us. We are at a facility uh, in Silverstone, which is in the Gosforth Business Park. Uh, it is a 40,000 square meter facility that we're doing for capital properties. The role of CLF was to place the jointless floor to 190 millimeters and to an FM2 special surface regularity. What we can see behind me is the two-thirds of the floor which has already been placed where panel sizes are between 1,200 and 1,400 square meters. We're adding fibers with a fiber blower. It mixes so you don't have any balling or, or any of that sort. The plug comes, it gets discharged onto the floor. Straight away, we use a laser speed machine, which is, by the way, one of the latest models there is, working at a pace of uh, 50 cubes an hour, which we're doing about 20 squares in two minutes. Uh, we screed the concrete off, we recheck levels. After four to five hours, the concrete will start to set. We'll use the big red power float to flatten the floor out even more. And then we'll come on with the small machines and just give it its final finish. This is where we apply the CLF Super Seal, which is a clear acrylic resin, which is broom applied to the surface of the floor and it does three things to the floor. It hardens the floor, it seals the floor, and it densifies the floor. So you get a very superior hard-wearing floor. Thereafter, this is allowed to cure for a little longer, and we go on to the tolerance and regularity measurements using our rack track profilograph. It is one of the biggest jointless floors ever done, and I'm very proud to be associated with this and be running this project. They put lots of effort into their work and they're also helping out where they can to speed up the working process and to make everything just happen easily and smoothly and the floors are quite excellent. Some of the other things we do as an industrial flooring company is once we place the floors, we don't just leave them. We stay engaged with the client and we actually maintain the floors for many years after we've placed it. Uh, these floors are subject to 24-7 traffic of forklifts. They get very heavily used and as a result, they can get damaged. And we have a preventative maintenance program in place with many of our customers to ensure the ongoing uh, longevity of their, of their asset base or their floor. What is happening behind me here is you've got a bunch of guys putting together uh, repairs on the joints themselves where those joints have deteriorated because of traffic. And they are now chopping them out using specialized cutting machines, uh, using breakers and so on. And they're going to reinstate that joint using uh, proprietary material. And all those products combined together with the repair methodology um, allow us to keep the facility up and running. Although we do do repairs for facilities where we haven't placed the floor ourselves and obviously we, we go a long way to assisting those customers as well.
And then you'll also see uh, we, we're having a lot of work in the concrete polishing market. So um, we not only do we place the floors, but now we are pulled in to, to polish the floors. And we've developed a very successful division within our group, which does polished concrete floors. Uh, we color those floors and we do various uh, treatments to the surfaces and we are doing a lot more polishing. It's a very big growth market for us. So CLF has recently constructed a new showroom in Johannesburg, in the northern suburbs of Johannesburg in four ways. And at the showroom, we're able to showcase a lot of our products and services and systems that we offer our customers. Especially in, in polished concrete, we can show customers polished concrete floors, different colors that they may use. We introduce them to thermal concrete. We can talk to them about many aspects of our business. And that's been wonderful because customers can now sit at our showroom, have a cup of coffee with us, and we can go through their whole project from start to finish and show them what is possible with concrete. This is going to be a, a wedding venue in the near future. Um, it's a project where we've installed the concrete, uh, we've placed it, we've floated it and now we're busy grinding it. Um, our guys in the background are on what we call brown steel, it's the second stage of the grinding. They're still busy trying to expose uh, the, the aggregates in it. After this obviously the floor is going to be clean, we then densify do one more step on black steel and then we follow through the process of running the, the resin bond tools. Um, but as you can see from the placing, we've got pretty good stone exposure on this floor and I think we're going to have quite a good floor here. We've always been the first to do everything. We've been the first to bring in very innovative products. For want of better words, we probably are the biggest and the most comprehensive in the concrete industry in South Africa. And we see the future for CLF as very, very exciting. We're only now starting to, to get traction in the business. As I said, with 14 years behind us, we see many years ahead where we're going to keep doing exactly what we've been doing for many years, and that is finding new products for our customers, keeping our staff with us. We've had very, very good staff retention in our business and we're going to keep doing what we've been doing and continue to be successful.